Hello and welcome back to Rogue Trader. Villainous Xenos have attacked our capital and it is our job to rid the capital of them. So that's what we're going to be doing today. We're going to be going there, we're going to be shooting them. It's going to be very straightforward and easy, but it should lead to some very interesting situations, especially if Marazai is there. But we'll see. We'll see. Um, yes. Void ships. I'm not a huge fan of void ships due to um, our inability to fight them, but that's okay. Let's uh, repair our hull and then jump into the fight. Let's go. Hopefully, we can beat them. Hopefully. If we can't, then I don't really know what our next move is. But, let's see. Let's see. Hold fast! Our faith will be tested! Well, positive side... We get to go first, and there are only three airships. This one is quite a bit stronger than the others, but that's okay. Uh, why is this lance weapon that's long range? Oh, right. I was gonna say, why does it have no range? But it's because we're um, like all the way back here. I was, I thought this was where our front of our ship, but that's actually, um, yeah, not anywhere near that. So where can we shoot from? Like here. Can I shoot, like, with both of these if I get close enough? Sort of, yeah. So let's shoot you. With the force of a supernova! We're gonna go straight forward and shoot the big ship. We did some damage. Okay. We're then going to um, arc augury. We'll then let us shoot here. Oh, steady Fully. hands reduce the cooldown. That's good. Okay, we haven't done that much damage. Let's drop uh, one of those down. Them out. Uh, that's not going to hit anyone. We can warp wave them. That's okay. Uh, they might circle around here. We think our right side is more is more in danger. Let's see here. Steady hands also reduce the cooldown of that, which is nice. Uh, we can strafe if we want to, which could make our right side even more of a target. Let's do that. Wonderful. And then that's us. In turn. So this one comes in. It's likely going to shoot our sword, sword class one. Because, you know, that's what it's next to. That's fine. It's going to move forward and shoot the um, big guy, I think. Unless it's going to shoot this one. No, it's kind of at the wrong angle to shoot that one. Okay. Oh, it's already moving. Oh, no. They are turning around to fight those two. Okay. Big guy is very, very slowly moving towards us. A little worried about this, but hopefully the right-hand side is all it can see, which I think it is the case here. Although I don't like the way that it turned directly at us. It's, it got some bombers. Oh, it shot the torpedoes? And missed? Okay, it missed a couple of times. Bombers are out. They destroyed uh, them. Okay, that's fine. Let's storm. Well, we destroyed the bombers. Not really my initial intention, but that's fine. Uh, let's shoot. Salvo. Well, we did some damage. I could make my turn at 90 degree, which would then allow our port side to eventually shoot them. Probably worth doing. Let's drop these guys Zopedos out there, though. Away. To make a 90 degree turn. Uh, we can shoot you with these. Fire at will. Okay. Shoot them. With the force of a supernova. Nice. Then shoot them make at port side as well. Count. Nice. Hmm. I'm going to go straight past them. And I'm going to make our left-hand side um, protected in case they shoot out of side ones here. Might regret it. They might shoot our back uh, part here, but I think we're okay. Let's reload. Uh, only starboard reloaded. Oh, well. I was hoping both would. I just could, didn't know which one it would be. Okay. This is doing a great job. It's probably going to die next turn. I would imagine. Let's see. Mm. 
yeah, it's probably going to die to the big guy. But at least it gets another turn. That's a big positive here. There is a gap in oh. their defenses. And it destroyed one of the ships. That's pretty good. That's what we suspected. It would attack our side. Okay. It's a little hurt, but that's mostly fine. They summon some bombers who probably can't turn and shoot us. They probably have to go after this sword class frigate. If I had to guess. Fade into nothing. They did go after that and in fact destroyed it. Right. Aldari Sonic Torpedoes will move around. Okay. So we can start by shooting them. them taste our fury. Nice. We are able to do this again. Let's turn all the way around and then do that. Uh, yeah. Turn all the way around and then do that. Engage the engines. Should be fine. Because we can do this again for one round for every 10 points in our um, lower warp skill, which is quite a lot. That did a lot of damage to them. Let the void More torpedoes. Lance Large weapon. Batteries. Fully. Dorsal. Fire a will. Okay, did a little damage. Uh, Reloading is not going to do anything because that will do our starboard side, which again doesn't matter. Uh, Arc Augury is not going to do anything. Torpedo control could allow us to move this one, but that's not going to get us anywhere. I think we do a restart shield. And we protect our... Left hand side still. I can't do that. Uh, protect our front then. Yeah, let's do that. Okay, this one's going to be far away. It's likely going to shoot the torpedoes, but it might shoot us. Shot at us. Okay, cool. They did shoot at the front, but they're shooting our torpedoes again. That's okay. Oh no, they shot at us. That's fine. Okay. And then drop more bombers. The bombers are then going to have their turn. I don't know if we're able to get a shot round there, but we should be able to arc augury get them next turn. Hmm. Yeah, you can go all the way around to that, to that one, which should destroy it. Almost. Okay. Guess I'm going to send you after the bombers. Cool. Uh, Arc Augury. Let's do that immediately. Salvo! Nice. Um, we are a little bit slower this turn. That's okay. Uh, let's go round and then hit it with one of these. With the force of a supernova. I think we got it. Okay, then Lance, Lance weapon. Batteries, volley. Then we'll hit it with this. Okay, that's still not quite enough. Oh, then we can turn it. I revel in the spectacle Wonderful. of their glittering. We did it. To reap the spoils of the battle. We then leveled up after the battle. Got ourselves a new um, pattern plasma battery, which deals 33, which is better than the one that we have on one of our sides. Okay, so this is just a better thing, right? 421 versus 333. Yes, it is just better. Okay, uh, cool. I'm going to click OK because I'm not sure that we're actually um, going back to the space. We are going back to space. Okay, in which case, well, I don't really care about leveling up right now. I would much rather uh, go to Dargonis. I don't think we're doing another space combat immediately. Right. Uh, quick save. And then, let's go in. Who's going? Abelard, yeah. Pascal, yeah. Heinrich, Irlet, Jai. Seems pretty much correct to me. Um... I mean, I could maybe see us ditching Pascal, potentially, or Jai, but 
I don't have a great reason to bring anyone else. So, let's go with this squad. Seems good to me. Oh, wow. Has this got a different um, background now? Look at that. We've got, like, tanks at the front. Hmm. Yeah, I think it is a different uh, loading screen. It's also different now that we're here. Okay, uh... Hello. Okay, that's obviously the person we're speaking to. I was thinking, is anyone going to tell us what's well, happening? Not Probably them. Clementia is looking a little disheveled, but her appearance otherwise remains unchained. Her uh, unchanged. Her steely gaze and tightly pressed lips speak of perfect composure. Praise the throne, your lordship. You're here. Your subjects need you now more than ever. Uh, we made it to Dargonis before it be before it could be devastated. So if we'd went to say Kiavagama first, it would have been devastated. Dargonis has been hit by a mass Xenos attack. The fleet's resistance was broken in mere hours, but then the invaders commenced a planetary raid. The planetary defense forces were able to hold the inner per um, perimeters of several cities. Two of the attacks were stifled on the approaches to settlements, but the fight continues, here as well, in the Von Valancia's palace. Lady Versarion, where is Achilles Scalandar? I thought I'd see him here by your side. The secretary's exact whereabouts are unknown, but under normal circumstances, he hardly ever set foot outside the palace grounds. I'm sure you realize what this could mean. Hmm. Okay. The Drukari are after living victims above all else. Why would they waste their forces assaulting the palace when they could be storming another city? Alas, I don't know the answer, your lordship. When the Xenos attacked the palace, they sent a force so great that uh, the increased warden presence in the defense perimeter were wiped out in minutes. By the throne, whatever they're looking for in there, they've spared no troops to get their hands on it. Where is Governor Drive Stem? The governor is currently protected within a well-fortified bunker, as are the heads of the other noble houses. Clementia grinds her teeth audibly. Still, each family has provided all available resources to the defense of Dargonis, or rather the defense of their respective regions. Hmm. Any details? What's transpired on the planet? The attack began a few hours before dawn over the capital. They first attacked the fleet. We were receiving boarding calls right before we lost communication with the crews. The sacrifice wasn't for naught. The ground troops had time to start mobilizing, and the civilians went on to organize the defense. Several hive cities managed to hold their perimeters, others sustained greater losses, and two cities were completely devastated. Our intelligence still knows nothing about the fates of millions of people. There's a high likelihood that we've lost them forever. Hmm. When all of this passes, expect ma mass executions among the planet's defenders. You have failed those you swore to protect. You did all you could. I vow to make the Xenos pay dearly for every human life they've claimed, or begin a detailed assessment of the damage. Let's say you did all you could. Xenos are dangerous en uh, opponents. Thank you, your lordship. But once the battles have concluded, I would like to launch a large-scale inspection of the defense forces. Our losses are too great. I want to make sure this is all due to our accursed enemy's superior numbers, not traitors in our midst. What's the current situation? The PDF is in the process of exterminating enemy forces on the planet. Okay, then that's due to us arriving early enough for them to be doing that. Extra batteries have been assigned to the assault on the palace, but without a strike force that could make it inside, we won't break the resistance. I have a feeling that the palace is the anchor point of the enemy's raid. Our Vox engineers are registering unknown signals coming from your residence to other areas on the planet. The scum must have set up a control center inside. We take out their command and we'll weaken their peripheral forces. This is an outrage. The Xenos have pillaged my palace, my precious residence. I'm afraid so, so, your lordship. The attack on the palace began later than the rest, once the reserve forces had been transferred to other regions, which is particularly odd, Clementia falters. They weren't tempted by an entire city, at the apex of which your residence stands. No, the wedge of the enemy forces targeted the palace specifically. We've cut off the periphery forces from those that made it inside the palace, and 
We continue to storm the building. We've killed so many of those beasts, but the Xenos are repelling our assault with ferocity. It's as if they're waiting for the right moment. Perhaps they haven't yet completed whatever goal they're pursuing inside the palace. Enough talking, I'm going in. Clementia bows. With awe and gratitude, I transfer the command of the ground operation to you, your lordship. The local troops are at your service. I beg of you, save Dargonis. We have a transmission. Report from Squad 2. Come in. Lieutenant, report a Lieutenant, we don't read you. Repeat. What? Emperor, help them. Oh. Well, that's not good. Attack for the Emperor and the Rogue Trader. Okay. I, I know that there's an attack going on. I also saw loot. Anyone else? Nope. Quick save. Okay, and go. Keep your wits right. about you. I cannot believe it. In the entire history of the Von Valencia's Protectorate, there has never been an attack on the capital world. Hmm. But has it ever been disconnected from the rest? So, um, not completely before. Hmm. I'm ready to fight. Strong. You don't belong in this galaxy. What was that whimper, monkey? Okay, uh, we kind of want to be back a little bit. That's fine. Abelard wants to be as close as possible. We want him to effectively be blocking their uh, ability to progress. I guess we kind of want you here as well. That means that there are very few squares that they can access to get past us, to get to the rest of us. But there are also um, like big bits of cover for them to sit behind. Urlet? Mm. I kind of get the feeling you're just standing at the back here, as is Jai. Is this the sensible plan? Probably not, but we'll go with it for now. Uh, Pascal? You can also be quite up near the front. Actually, you know what I'm going to do? Heinrichs is going to go here. Pascal is going to take the uh, closer position. Is there anywhere else that I could put these people? Maybe put Erlet here and Jai... Uh, yeah, I can put Erlet here and Jai here. That would be a little bit better. And then we're going to run to, like, maybe here. We'll see. I can't even run around that far. This is, doesn't even count as cover. All right. Well, the more you know. That's going to be front oh, line. Not me. Uh, back line. Can't put it there. Okay, that's going to be... Back it's line for now. Done. And then rear. Reasonably, I'll I think there is fine personally. for rear. Okay, let's put kill zone I'll on this area. Happen. Let's increase the armor of the people on in it. that area. Increase our allies' damage to people who have um, exploits. Um, we can give cover efficiency and failed characteristics test bonuses to who the people in here. Me? Let's do that. Cover in the area also does not suffer damage, which is quite nice. Um, we can take a shot. It's going to do almost nothing. I think what we do is we move down into this area. Well, I think we actually just move over here. I think that's 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 our play. Actually, if we're going to move over there, before we move over there, let's drop that in on Gunslinger, some more stacks. And then let's... Uh, yeah, then let's move over here and we'll use perfect spot to increase our cover efficiency. Nice. That seems good to me. Okay. They didn't manage to hit Abelard. That's fine. Break their morale. Sergeant moves forward. We have witches around the side. I did not notice that initially, but that's okay. Heinrichs. Okay. Uh, this seems fine. Word of the Emperor. Followed by hammer. To it. Followed by shield. Naturally. So just get all of our buffs on, basically. Buff Abelard. Give Abelard warp speed. Okay, any more buffs that I can do? Uh, I can also maybe heal Abelard of some of his poison. 
I don't know if that did heal him. Let me just see. Oh no, that doesn't remove poison. Never mind. I, I guess I gave him extra wounds, but he was already at max or above max. So that's fine. Let's see to it. It also didn't cost anything. It actually gave us a free ability. Um. Yeah, let's take a shot over the course, top. But of course, Lord Captain. Get the true master. Nice. Inflict the pain. I won't I'm one of those potentially for Pascal. Okay. Go. Abelard. Um. Let's start by enduring. Indeed. Then by it wall of rock creating. We've got even more um, temporary wounds. Go here. Or maybe go here and then smash in this way. I've seen worse battles than this in my Okay. Almost. Uh, I could charge over there, but it's not quite going to get us what we need. Let's taunt everybody here. And then increase my, my uh, deflection, right? Yeah. That's fine. Oh, and then I get another thing. Uh, defensive stance. Done. There we go. Moving out. Warden gets a turn. Don't know what they're going to do. Seems like a very bad move. Follow my lead. Oh, no. Well, that was a slightly better move, although it did also show me there are three oh. over here, which I didn't realize beforehand. Oh, uh, including someone with a name. Hecatrix. I don't know if that is a title or a um, an actual name, but yeah, we'll see. we'll see. It's only a level three, so it must be a title. Okay. Let's uh, make you my prey. Then I'm going to make you my prey. I am not your Xenos pet monkey. Can I see anyone else from my current position? Uh, no, 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 no. Okay, can't see any other anyone else, so they can't be my prey. Let's uh, call the bolt to increase our damage. Then shoot. Yeah. Then we're going to use Claim the Bounty. It gives us another 2 AP. And then I'm going to use a Piercing Shot. I don't know, is that is that only this turn? Oh, it is only this turn. Never mind, that was a bad move. And then I'm going to use In My Sights to hit uh, this person. If it serves your cause. Although it says I can see someone over here, so I must have had someone else I could mark as prey, even though it wasn't saying I could. Okay. They're doing a bunch of buffs, which I assume is them trying to heal themselves somehow. Oh, okay. Did a bunch of stuff. That's fine. Mad Gunslinger. This one's doing the same thing as the other one. I don't really know what that is. This one said quick attacks afterwards. Okay. Oh, they dodged. And wait, and ran away. Like, completely ran away. Okay. Another warden. You are doomed. Jai? Uh, let's. Hmm. Uh. I'm not sure. Let's. Buff or left. You've got a problem. I've got a price. I'm gonna mark this Tell one as our objective. I'm gonna inspire Erlet. And then I'm gonna give Erlet another turn. I can do that with the right incentive. Okay. Uh shoot it. If I must. Your last stroke. Didn't quite kill it, that's fine. There is somebody I can mark as prey over here. For some reason I couldn't do that previously. I am but whatever. not your Xenos pet monkey. Done it. Um Could you jest, surely. Yeah, I do. I thought you had more AP I was gonna shoot. Okay, Pascal. Uh get up here. Shoot. Beyond the sire knows all, comprehends all. Okay, kill. 
Probably should have done this earlier, but do this now. This would have given us more damage at the attack hit. It was going to kill anyway, which is why I wasn't too worried about it. Uh, aim for an opening. Des uh, Death Whisper. Nice. That seemed pretty good. Right. Um, let's increase our, our allies' damage if they're exploits. Increase I'll our damage. Fire. I'll see to it personally. All right. Take a step back and oh, I can't take a step back into cover. I'll make it That's happen. That's fine. Perfect spot. Uh, nothing else I can put stacks on. Yeah, I guess Who I'll do this. Not me? That's fine. We cool. are the bane Parry. The he gets his attack of opportunity back. It's almost dead. He then does the weird thing that the others did. Okay. Weapon at the ready. Sergeant gets a shot. Well done, Sergeant. Heinrichs. Uh. Well. Buff. For the throne's glory. Followed by buff. Followed by buff. Naturally. Followed by uh, buff. I won't object to it. Okay, just making sure I do everything, even if I don't necessarily Let's need to. It. That's fine. Uh, two AP left. Hmm. Choose some. But of course, Lord Captain, your reckoning is well cheap. done. And that'll be pretty much it here, I think. Hmm. Yeah. Okay. Uh, over this way, actually, over this way, charge. Indeed. I don't know where that one went. I'm just tempted to let them go. Victory is in Wall of rock creep. Increase my temporary wounds even more. Defensive stance. Uh, sworn enemy. Not sworn enemy. Bulwark. Indeed. Cool. Weather the storm! Uh, your okay. Carnage beckons! Hello. That's fine. Okay, we dodged again. Uh, call the bolt. This tedium is beneath me. Claim the bounty. If it serves your cause, I deal death with nice. my hands. So that's another one dead. Um, I got another one to shoot. Yep. I move swiftly to strike. Oh, I you another one down. No more. <laughs> Back over here. Uh, end turn. You coming back or are you just standing over there? I don't really want to go over there because I get the feeling it's going to trigger more uh, combat. As in like it's going to trigger a dialogue or something. What are you doing? Just standing there doing this weird falter. buff thing. Stay I could go up the top of Urlet and try and shoot him, I guess. Yeah, let's give you another They're turn. Like legends about me. I move as if unseen. Shoot him. I Apparently through the stairs, but... Good shot. Always right. keep your eye on the prize. Lots and lots of loot. Let's grab it. Yeah, I think that's that was just a title for Hecatrix, unless it's some weird thing. Why would I want to dismantle my own gun? I don't know, I dismantle you. I got two crack grenades. Okay. I disabled my own anti-air gun. Hopefully that doesn't come back to cause me any issues. Okay, I'm going to disable my own mines, I assume. Yep. That's fine. The Inquisition okay. taught me many <laughs> things. I always keep my uh, options open. Yeah, get right in the center here. Get a ton of loot. Uh, we don't need the hectar. We don't need whatever these are. Hecatari blades. Yeah, we don't need those. 
down this Let way. Let us not dawdle. We have some goods. So this one was dead when we got here. Any new things here, or is this what I said before? The smell of burning and blood preeminates the air around the desecrated chapel. Yeah, we do have new stuff to see. Okay. Keep your wits about you. There's some more goods up here. Be careful. So this is where this thing ran off to. Turns out there wasn't anything over here, but that's fine. Don't know why it ran all the way over here then. Do a little My tech use. Grab some more stuff. Certainty. Move further over this way. Okay, there I are some goods on the ground plan. here. Grab them. It almost looks like there's something over here, but I think it's just this. Yeah, it's just that area there that that's sitting on. Okay, let's ignore that then. Rise right. to the top. Uh, we'll we got everything. Left in the dust. Looks, looks like it. Let's do a quick save. Let's move forward. Right. Keep a sharp Trap. eye or treasure. This is, these are their traps because it's Lorzinos. And okay. done. Okay. Do it again. Does she really have a higher Lorzinos than us? Pleasure. Our Lorzinos is ninety. Hers is a hundred. Oh. Yeah, she should really be the one manning the thing on the uh, void ship, but let's not worry about that. Is there money to be made? An internal conflict in Navis Nobilitate House. A regrettable situation that could lead to many problems in the future. Not only problems in the future, but casualties in the present, as the Lord Captain has, alas, already had the misfortune of seeing for himself. Oh, okay, so they're just a random... I was wondering why they were bringing that up. I was like, maybe it's because there was a fight thing in previously in Dargonus here about it, but no. They're just randomly bringing up, uh, you know, Cassius stuff. The gates may have been swept off their mighty hinges, most likely as a result of a direct hit from a powerful weapon. Okay, there's also some loot to the side, although there's also lots and lots and lots of cover and some witches. Let's see if we can... Oh, hello. When Tizara notices you, her face contorts into a mask of rage. The Dukari's lips stretch into a predatory grin that bears no trace of her former haughtiness, only the promise of pain. You, malformed monkey, putrid vermin, you will pay for every moment that I have spent on this pitiful planet. This is it, the true face of the Dark Ones. Her anger at you is so great that she has shed her mask and revealed the beast beneath. Little Asuriani, the monkey's obedient servant, try to survive the future. And then the two of us will still have plenty of fun. The Drukari licks her lips with her forked tongue. Hmm. Tell me what your objective is in the palace, and I may grant you a swift death. I will not stoop to explain myself to a monkey, let alone a worm like you. A swift death? I will teach you the true art of killing. One drop of blood, one moment of insufferable agony at a time. Tazara's shriek drops to a hiss. I suspected that you and that trueborn cur were working together. He did not make me and my sisters linger here in a whim. He had a reason, and that reason involves you. Yes, is that it? Tell me, just a nod so I can stand before the Archon and accuse him of treachery and compromising the raid. Oh, Marazai didn't tell her what was happening by the sounds of it. He is using us to take out his rivals by the sounds of it? Aha. Uh -huh. Squabbles between false al allies is the favorite sport of the Drukhari. After torture, that is. Heinrich sounds pleased. He's clearly enjoying the sight of the Xenos' rage. What cur are you talking about? Enough. Tazara bears her sharpened fangs. I will beat the truth out of your dead bodies, yours and Mara's eyes. Sisters, attack. Okay, well we get to go first, then Erlet, then Heinrichs. Wonderful. Uh, well, Erlet, I feel, has to be like here. A little bit of height, good view over everything. It seems like a fantastic place to stand. We are going to start like here-ish. Heinrichs, kind of in the center-ish is where we want you. Maybe behind real cover. Uh, Pascal, we can have you be behind better cover. And then Jai, we'll have you be here. Abelard, where, where can we have you stand? Like there? Like behind cover, but not really? Yeah, it would work. Although, yeah, I almost want to move Pascal just back here. 
because I'd want them to be a little bit more spread out. Oh, and then where are we going to stand? Uh, I actually thought we were there. Wait, where did Earl? I moved Earlette to where Ember's going to move us. That's what happened. There we go. <laughs> Start the battle. So immediately, uh, front line. Should probably, maybe I should have swapped those two. Doesn't really matter. Uh, back line, again, would love to rotate this so I can make it useful, but let's not Got worry it. about that. And then rear, we're going to stick it. Again, this one would be, look at this. If this rotated, it could hit both of us, but as it is, it's going to have to I'll just see hit to her. It personally. I guess we could move up here slightly if we wanted to. Yeah, we could. Okay, let's move up there. Let's then drop I a joint analysis down. Comes. Uh, we're then going to increase... My gut tells me I can't see this idea. one. Alright, that's fine. Whatever. Um, can I move back and do it? Yeah, move back here. Increase the armor I'll in that make area. Go back up the stairs. Let's make some opportunities. <laughs> uh, perfect spot. Increases our ballistic skill and cover efficiency, which is useful here. And then I was kind of thinking to shoot across, but we're not really doing any damage. But sure, like how about a shot across like this? This as good as done. We're not really hitting anyone, so. <sighs> oh, we hit two. I maybe should have used my buff, and I should have used the buff anyway. But that's fine. Uh, here, I want to set some prey. Tazara is the obvious prey. She's level 6, so we get the full bonus from prey, which is uh, temporary wounds and critical hit chance, which is very nice. Uh, and she gets a lot of critical hit chance because that's based upon the tier. Yeah, so that'd be fine. Carbolite Heavy is really far away, but we'll probably have to come in at some point. Let's mark them. Uh, and then the rest... Wait, oh, no, we have a level 4 in here. Uh, no, that's level 6, sorry. Uh, the rest are level 3 or 1. So the witches the witches are level 3. Let's mark if this it one If it serves then. your cause. Just pick one and go with it. Okay. I'm going to start with Call the Bolt. And then I'm going to shoot to Zara. Uh, yep, shoot to Zara. There's extra the damage on it as well, and it reduces their armor by difficulty tier, which is very cool. So their armor is now pretty much nothing. In fact, it is nothing. Then we're going to shoot them. This tedium again. is beneath me. Ancestors nice. guide me. Love to see it. Heinrichs, uh, can I buff everybody? Or if I, yeah, I'm one off being able to buff everybody in terms of space, but that's okay. Don't really need to. Buff as many as you can. Shield of the Emperor. Um, Hammer of the Emperor. I won't object uh, we'll to it. We'll then do warp speed. Then we'll do increased Let's damage. See to it. Um, then I actually none of those cost action points. We got the roll on every single one, so absolutely nothing used an action point. Uh, I have too many action points remaining. Honestly, like just take a pot shot. Naturally. You call this well, that works. A strike. <laughs> Give yourself some temporary it. wounds. Um, I'm out of actions for you. Um, well done. I am a Carbolite heavy taker. moves in as it had to because it was so Pain far out of range. Okay. Uh, Pascal's gonna have a good turn. That's on pain. Malice drives me. Okay. There are a lot standing in groups all over the place. Let's start with one of these buffs. Uh, has to hit him. Yeah, let's do this. Nice. We're then going to go absolutely crazy. Oh, there's a group over here. This is your group to defeat. Okay. But you're going to go here them blow up these guys. Why can I not do this? What, what what's, what's the problem? My competences are not that universal. Mmm, I see, I see, I see. Uh... Could do this. 
could do that. Let's do that. Just finding the right thing to do. These are enthralled marauders. So by killing the these, do I free the war troops, do you reckon? Oh, I'm out of actions. Okay. But I can dance. I can dance up a little bit. I get to the other side. Yep. So the side which I have the uh, opening on. And then we'll hit him. Okay. They get a turn. We got another hit. Oh, wow. He's almost dead. <laughs> he got absolutely annihilated there. Okay. Well, luckily he's the healer. But yeah, unluckily he did get hit Scorn by a lot. Pain. Your death is approaching. That's fine. Uh, we are a little hurt. Uh, what bonus does this give again? Ally gains 10 plus 2 times the allies resolve momentum and 5 to all characteristics if they kill something that I uh, mark. Okay. Seeing what I've got here in terms of like targets I can mark. Whether there's anything that would be really easy to mark. Right, this Am one. I getting paid for this? Okay, that's my objective. I'm going to I can do that with the right buff incentive. Erlet. I'm then going to give her more damage. I'm gonna inspire her. And it is done. Oh, there's that group over there as well. Okay. I'm then gonna give her another turn. And she is going to take the shot over here to kill. We've claimed the bounty. There we I go. Am not your Xenos, Pat Monty. Which gives me another 2 AP. Right? That didn't give me my 2 AP. Uh, maybe it doesn't give you... Oh, because it wasn't prey. Of course. <laughs> Alright, that's fine. We still killed it though and increased her stats uh, by 5 for the rest of the combat. Which is very good. And gained momentum immediately. Wonderful. Jai, you can then give another turn to somebody. Hmm, I kind of want to get somebody over there to deal with that lot. Maybe Abelard. Want to see a trick? Okay. Here. Charge. Follow my lead. Just absolutely send yourself over here. Uh, is there any way I can move you anymore? No, but I can hit this one for a lot. Let's go for... What's this cost? This costs two, right? Yeah. It will be done. Let's increase my temporary That's wounds the and then kill the Thrallmaster. Okay. Then give me some uh, deflection. Jai, uh, you have a shot if you want one. Um... Yeah, you could potentially shoot this one, potentially. Or maybe over here. Yeah, let's shoot that one. Don't get too cocky. That seemed good. Remove the cover at least. Okay. Oh, it's Abelard's turn. Yeah, do it. Like the aftermath of an orbital strike. Wonderful. Charge. Victory is imminent. I took care of this one. <laughs> Wall of it Rock Creek. Increase your temporary your wounds. Ah! I actually reduced his temporary wounds by one. We'll Alright, Daring Breach. Themselves. This now means that I have lots of movement and a lot of um, action points to spend. Let's figure out where we want to go. Maybe here? Tried and tested tactics are the best ones. Hit him. She nice parry. Here. Kill. One fewer target. Taste my blood. Over here. A tactically sound approach. Reduce the dust. Agony. Back over here. What it will be done. I feel. Okay. We have enough breath. momentum to have another turn after four. this, or like uh, not to have another turn, but to have another heroic I act after this. Not. Submit. Okay, get to the cover. That'll, that'll work for you. Good. Solid turn by him. Uh, oh, we got a level up as well. Pain and duty go hand in hand. The she did zero damage to him. They did more damage to her than to him. Just a minor setback. Okay. 
Uh, you're fine. I mean, you have to heal, but apart from that, you're fine. Uh, figure out what we need to do. Let's put, make it happen. Um, let's do more damage for people with exploits. Put more Who exploits on me? Tazara. Then we're gonna move. Well, actually, we don't need to move anything because uh, I think Heinrich is quite happy where he is. We can take maybe a step or two down the stairs, though, if we wanted to. Yeah, that would probably be fine. Um, and then maybe... kind of want to let Urlet have the kill there. Well, what if I don't move? Can I shoot at the ones that are all the way over here? No. Mm. Alright, shoot this at this is one. Good as done. Consider this a that taste was of what's really good. Come. Wow. Okay, we almost killed it. End turn. Urlet. Call the bolt. Hit him. If I must. Wonderful. Oh, and then she just killed another. I forgot she did that. Um, can't see those ones over there, but we can take kill another one here potentially. I am not your Xenos pet, Mor. Not quite. Okay. Uh, we've already killed all the prey, I think. We could do a dismantling attack. Maybe against this Fall one. Creatures. Nice. <coughs> Heinrichs. Throne take you. Um. Buff. For the throne's glory. Followed by I won't buff. object to it. Followed by but buff. Of course, Lord Captain. Followed by really good buff. Followed by a buff here. Let's see to it. Followed by a little healing. I won't object to it. Um, followed by Naturally. some extra health. Then move over here and like maybe take a pot shot. You're not even in range. All right, like just move over here. Get then. me a target. Oh, the heavy's in. No, that was our last prey. I and forgot about that one. Forgot it existed entirely. I've suffered worse. All right. Uh, let's start with healing yourself. Get down here. Kill it. Nice. Uh, it's the same either way. Mm. Yeah, shoot it. The scriptural prognosis is... Okay, it missed. Um, dash. Followed by dash. Followed by put more stacks on it. Okay, cool. Jai. Um, assign target. Then. Buff. Uh, I'd apple, like to, uh, but buff. I can't. Our stats. <laughs> Inspire Urlet. You've got a problem? With a lot I've of extra a damage. She's now got many, many more stacks. And then give Urlet another Don't turn. Don't get too cocky. Okay. I understand Kill it. your intent. Another soul slept beyond the veil. Absolutely destroyed. Um, run over here and uh, shoot as much as you can. Uh, run over here. Press the advantage. I know what I'm doing. Usually, which increases her damage. And shoot it. I can do that with the right insight. You know. Wonderful. Okay, that seems really good. And then our objective is now uh, search the palace for survivors. Bloodthirster. Each hit decreases the target's weapon skill, ballistic skill, strength, toughness, and perception by five. Incredible. Uh, okay. What else have we got here? Some more stuff over this way. Let's do a little quick save as well while we're here. I wonder if saving the wardens had any, uh, like, actual thing. I kind of thought it was during combat. Like, you know, maybe saving them did something. But no. We can activate the turrets. All right. That's how it's done. 
Okay, so they're now reactivated. Your eye on the prize. Will that do anything? I don't know, maybe. The bark of the tree is covered with thin streams of dark resin similar to streaks of blood. Okay. Break up the rubble. Sure. Experience? Nothing matters. We now more. got goods. Uh ooh, an Imperial Staff. Gives Emperor's Wrath of different levels to people. It's Emperor's Wrath. Everyone adjacent to the target point suffers 1 to 1 plus Psy rating times the Psyker's Staff's um, power level damage. Ooh. Okay. It gives you 10 uh, willpower of 5 uh, fellowship. Is that something that you would use? As oh no, you have the Melter as your secondary. It's not a Navigator Staff, and we don't even have the Navigator with us. So it's probably a thing for uh, Adira then. Keep okay. your wits about you. Um, we saved you. All right, yeah. If you speak to each one, they they count as being saved. Okay. Now, what does that do? I don't know. I uh, it might just be plan. RP. We'll see. Some loot over here. Another one of these to grab loot from. Some more artifacts. Okay. Rise to the top grab these. Or get left in the dust. Okay, get all of those, then click on each warden. That's fine. Okay, quick save. Do we do a level up before we head in? Maybe. There's also a small amount of loot just up the here, but I think that might lead us into the next thing. So, let's do our level up. We'll be quick. Talents and available count. Okay, so this might take a second or two, but let's see. I see it's level 30. Uh, this is going to take a while. Uh, is there anybody who we already know what we're taking? So you were probably taking stuff. Alright, let's leave here. Yes, except I've left you. Um, I was taking Psy rating. So I was going to take here. Yeah, Psy rating plus one. Followed by... I guess I could take it on that level. Yeah, that's going to take... We'll do that next time. <laughs> if I need something from the level up, we can always come back here. I, I got the feeling this was the final combat of the uh, I always keep area, my options so open. let's move forward and then we'll level up afterwards. Right. Quick save. I might be wrong, though. We might have a ton more combat, but the way it said, let, you know, see if there are any survivors alive kind of implied, you know, the combat portion is probably done. This is probably going to be a dialogue section, I would guess. We'll see. If it's combat, then what we might do is we might put in a break, do some leveling up, and do some combat. But we'll see. Servitors are in here. There are lots of dead in here. So that's interesting. Always keep your eye on the prize. Uh, there's two bits we can jump over. Let's jump over this side because we're probably going to our quarters. Actually, let's go down here first. You can see something up there. Keep we can't do anything with Servitor. You. Unharmed and indifferent to the carnage. Okay, jump over. An expected result. Grab that. I say I realized I'm being stupid. Compared to naval service, because if I want the XP, oh, these guys are in here now. I always have a backup. If I want the XP, then what I want to do is jump <laughs> over both sides. Impossible for this it's old officer. Two separate checks. Attention to detail is the key right. to success. This is, is our quarters. Made? Oh, hello. Hi. Hello. That's Achilles. Disgusting presence out of existence. Are you challenging me, Phil? Okay, well, um Move forward. You, I mean we're still a little worried about you dying. Why don't you stand back here? Heinrichs, you can share the defense here. As can you, Jai. Uh, on to the single piece of cover that we've got. Let's go. Uh, front line. I'll make it happen. Just waiting for my guy to finish. There we go. Back line. 
I mean, I guess Onyx. that's our back line. That's not really where I was trying to place it, but whatever. Rear. I won't stand for it. I can't place it because it won't give me a place where I'm allowed to place it. Why? I don't know. It doesn't want to. Okay, fine. I really need to see. Maybe there's something on the forums about that. Because that seems like something that someone else would have got annoyed about before now. Who are these guys, by the way? They look different. They're Beastmasters. Oh, okay. I'll make it happen. Let's give a few extra stacks to one. Increase the damage of, uh, of my allies to people with stacks. Surefire plan to increase my damage. Okay, then uh, take a pot shot. I'll make it happen. Okay. Uh, increase my cover efficiency. Wonderful. Roulette. Uh, let's go for prey. This tedium is beneath. They're all me. level two, so they're not really the strongest of enemies. So we don't necessarily need to be that worried about <sighs> if them. If I but must. Might as well set prey because we can. There we go. Maybe there'll be another a wave spawn or something. Let's do uh, not claim the bounty. Let's do uh, call the bolt. Then uh, shoot. I am not your Xenos pet, Mon. I hear you moving. That one's dead. No more. To bow. Then shoot this one. If it serves one. your cause. <sighs> Let Wonderful. me educate you on the art of pain. Heinrichs, I mean, I just because they're not really it. that strong doesn't mean that we don't want to follow our pattern for you right now, which is spam every button that you have. But of and it probably won't even Lord raise Captain. the veil degradation that much, if at all. I won't object to it. Okay. Warp Let's speed. See to it. Uh. And that used all my AP this time. Nobody escapes us. What? A what? Fight. Wait, is he dead? Oh, if he's not RP dead, I'm gonna. I will actually reload that. Your suffering will sustain me. That seems a little annoying, but yeah, I think he's our, I, I think he's doing the. Um, I'm dead, but then the moment that we finish the fight, it'll be I'm alive. Am I getting paid so for we'll this? We'll see. Roulette, why don't I you have do extra With stats? Right incentive. I'll do an inspire Tell on me. you as well. And then you can have got another problem, turn. I've got and let's see if you get your AP back this time when I use Claim the Bounty. I know last I time we didn't because it was, pet wasn't free. This time hands. we did. Nice. This can't be over. Wonderful. And then kill this one. I hear you moving. Nice. No more. Then, you know what? Have another They're turn. Right legends about me. And shoot. Another soul slips beyond Yay. the Yay! He, he was, uh, he was just combat dead, not RP dead. Covered in Drukari blood and his own, Achilles Scalander looks around with a haunted expression on his face. He finally manages to focus his gaze on you and lets out a barely audible gasp. God Emperor, preserve me. Could it be? Is it really you, your lordship? He's struck by an excruciating coughing fit, his hand grasping for his respirator on its golden chain but it is missing. Are you all right, Achilles? You are too kind to me, your lordship. We have more important matters to consider than a few broken ribs. Please, do not trouble yourself about it. Let's inspect his uh, wounds. Achilles' body is covered in an unthinkable number of cuts and injuries. The Drukari put great effort into filling his every moment with searing pain. However, none of his wounds are life-threatening. Um, Heinrichs, help him. Use your abilities. You feel a cold gust. Uh, you feel a gust of cold that brings shivers to your skin. A moment passes, and Achilles takes another breath. This one much deeper and steadier. The small cuts close almost completely, but the deeper wounds continue to bleed. I mean, that seems good. Yeah. Um, immediate fixing seems good. I, you shouldn't have, Master Van Kalox. Your powers are wasted on me. What happened here? When the report came from orbit about the Xenos attacks, I was in the administratum halls, resolving the matter of your succession. I rushed to my shuttle and prayed to the god emperor I would reach the uh, palace before they struck. 
But before I could get rid of all the pics and documents I had gathered, the palace was besieged. I had to take a risk and burn it all. The Xeno surrounded me when I was setting fire to the last remaining orders, and they decided to have fun with me. Achilles closes his eyes shut. Holy Emperor, deliver me from the memories. It tortured you. Why? Why? Achilles lets out a slight chuckle. Such is the nature of the enemies of humanity, your lordship. They have a taste for our pain. What did you tell them? Achilles looks you in the eye, his gaze unexpectedly clear. Nothing. But they didn't ask me anything. They didn't look for anything. They didn't so much as poke around a place. Strange. It is the Drukhari's favourite pastime to torture enemies for amusement. I doubt they had any inkling you were an agent of the Inquisition. Or is it that you do not remember anything, Monkey? And it was their intent that you did not. Okay. Were you able to gleam anything from your attackers? His burnt lip twists into a bitter smile. Oddly enough, I was, your lordship. The Drukhari had no idea that a mere adeptus administratum secretary could understand their alien speech. They were deliberating over how they were going to kill me. They mentioned that other monkey had been helping them all this time. Renegades or pirates or something of the sort. It will take time to identify these traitors to humanity, but I give you my word that they will pay for what happened on Dargonis. I'm not going to say four. I think four is unfair, given that... I mean, like, partial reason for the Xenos attack was that we poked them and we were basically like, Hey, hey, Xenos, do something. Do something. Yeah, yeah, we're here. You know, attack us. You won't. You won't. Like, you know, we basically provoked them. Uh, that's enough talking, Achilles. I'll contact Clementia and get her to send uh, someone a Medicaid. Get out of the palace while you can. Gritting his teeth, Achilles bows and withdraws to the gatehouse in front of the palace. Okay, so that's one of the survivors, so that's how it's going to play in this section here. I understand. This could oh. be an opportunity. Ooh, what did we see? I oh, something in boot my options open. Arsonist Bracers. Five to tech use and increased damage from flame weapons by three. Okay, cool. Beastmasters, what do they have? Junk, okay. Uh, broken furniture, tattered fabric, bloodstained. Someone in this room put up a... D uh, desperate defense against Always the Xenos. Keep your eye on the prize. And then we've got some goods out here. Uh, Karkala's Honor. Um, Lord Karkala, the leader of the Treble Rebellion, has his head struck clean with this noble blade. Despite his apostasy, even his enemies recognize the valor and nobility of Karkala, who was generously granted a noble death by beheading. Plus one damage per character in the party? That has... Very odd implications. That tells me that at some point, you're not going to have a party of six. Because otherwise, it would just be plus one damage uh, for everyone in the party, meaning plus six. Right? But this implies that there's going to be a point where there's not. Or maybe if you're on a certain route, you can end up with much less people in your party. Like maybe they leave and then you can't feel the full party, but then even then you can get mercenaries, so weird. Control panel is broken, the machine spirit has left this machine forever. More broken furniture, Medicaid. Operation. Among Success. numerous mutilations of the bodies, thin cuts and barely distinguishable, this work of a skilled torturer, not enraged fighters. Okay. Awareness check here. Keep your wits about you. I have learned much in my exile. An aristocrat. Hello. Praise the Emperor, it's you. I thought it was those, those. The fact that there's an awareness check either means it's purely for XP or that there is going to be something for saving Rise like a set number of people in or here. Get left in the dust. Which is something they have done before in Alcat games. Or something very similar to this. The bodies were mutilated and gutted. Once luxurious clothes of uh, brocade and silk are completely saturated with blood. Let us okay. Let's have a look at this. One and it's done. Can we speak to you? Xenos, they're inside already. We could not stop them. May the Emperor have mercy on our souls. He didn't just... Dis oh, he's still on the floor. I see. I, I thought he just disappeared out of existence, but he did not. 
he still exists. Whoa, 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 whoa. Do I disable it here? I disable it here. Okay. Oh, then he died. He gave his last message, then he died. Okay. And then I looted him immediately. Well, um, hmm. I wonder if this is a combat arena. It's got lots of, uh, you know, perfectly sized cover. Always keep your eye on the price. Two slits, and uh, that was Mara's eye. Marazai casually gestures with his hand, either welcoming you or inviting you to admire the brutalized hull. At last, I was beginning to think that your lumbering bucket had perished. On the way back, such a resolution would have satisfied neither you nor me, would it? The sight of the Xenos lounging in the dynastic throne makes Abelard's face turn crimson. What? How? Did? Uh, you will cease defiling a relic of the Imperium with your presence, Xeno scum. What's this abomination? The Drukari taps a finger on the armrest. With pleasure. But first, I will finish my conversation with your master, Monkey. The Drukari freezes for a moment. Oh, I can feel your anger your rage, and your pain from witnessing the state of your halls. I trusted that you would appreciate our efforts here. I could have long vanished in the tangles of the webway without awaiting your arrival, Monkey. But I could not refuse myself the small pleasure of savoring your torment at the sight of what I have done to your home. You are still with them, cousin. Mara's eyes voice is dripping with saccharine mockery. How fares your search for your lost family? Or is it being at the monkey's beck and call that's occupying all your thoughts and time? You will be silent, Dark One, or I will silence you myself. Why did you attack the palace? The sole thing that your kind is good for, monkey, is your ability to suffer. I have long been surfeited with physical pain. Your kin provide it in abundance from their cages in Komorak. The pain of the soul, on the other hand, is a rare delight. After all, I had to recompense you for all the trouble you have caused me. However, did I not give you a gracious gift as well? That pesky, meddling Tazara, who harrowed your little world for so long. You've garnered her head, and I, a peaceful existence where she is not constantly in my way. He gives you a thin smile. To die at the hands of a monkey is the worst possible punishment for a champion of the gladiatorial arenas of Komorag. Her final moments were torturous. Um, okay. Tazara was under the impression we were working together. What nonsense did you put in her head? Hmm? The pompous waste of skin thought I would associate with Monkey. I wish I did not leave her death to you and instead cut out her heart myself. Still, to take note of my interest in your person was quite perceptive. Even f more so for a, bla a brainless arena witch. <laughs> now that our meeting has taken place, my business here is done. I have spent enough time in real space. It is time to bid you goodbye. Okay. I don't want to leave you all alone. You wouldn't appreciate that, would you? Oh. Cabalites of the Reaving Tempest, I leave this monkey to you. Enjoy yourselves! I did not have his voice right, but that's okay. Won't be the first time, won't be the last time. There are way too many enemies around us. Okay, uh, well we get to go first and then everybody else gets a turn. <laughs> Where the hell are we? We're over here. I don't know why it started the camera over there. We are surrounded. 
but not ambushed. A couple of chimeras, which is slits and Urlet. Urlet, um, I mean, honestly, like, it seems like you're kind of going to have to move, like, here. That seems pretty good. We, we are going to move, well, let's not worry about us. And then there's a huge gap, and then there's Abelard. Abelard's going to stand here. He is tanking these guys. That's his role. Heinrichs. Heinrichs, I feel like you have to be here. I feel like Pascal can be the other side of the same bit of cut. Oh no, I feel like Pascal can be the other side of the same bit of cover. Although I get a feeling it's going to be blasted a lot if I do that. Pascal? You can't quite get to good cover. Why don't you be here for now? Um, Jai? Here? And... How about you go here and then we'll join you and we'll make that our back line. Yeah. I think that's our best play. Let's do that. Right, so, uh, front line seems like it has to be Abelard. It just seems like that's going to be a requirement here. On it. I oh, kind of get the feeling we're going to die and it's only going to be him, but let's not worry about that. This is back line, so that's extra dodge. This is rear extra damage. We're going to increase the I'll armor that Abelard is walking around with. Uh, we're then going to give trench line stratagem I'll to this one, which is the one that gives extra chances of dodging. Uh, we're going to make this a kill zone, so they, they'll they die if they drop below uh, 20 wounds. Joint analysis increases damage um, to uh, things that have exploits on them. Head over here. Let's Don't then, let your guard down. Yeah, use surefire plan. Pick something like this Beastmaster. I'm not able to shoot it at all. Okay. Pick something like... Oh, I'm not able to shoot anything, really. This Beastmaster over here I've got a better shot on. But I'm going to hit Abelard, maybe. Let's shoot it's that as one. Good as done. You should have thought twice before okay. me. For a flesh crafter. And then perfect spot gives us increased cover efficiency. Good. Camera one. Good damage. <laughs> Okay, it went immediately at Heinrichs. This one went at Abelard. Which coming in. Uh, Roulette is in big trouble. Slip. Big trouble. Never mind. Now, um, can you shoot while you're in melee sword. range? No. Do you have a secondary weapon? Yes, you have the shuriken pistol and the scorpion chainsword. Do we want you to use them? Absolutely not. I would love you to go here. Uh, cancel that. I also realized that we don't have a medipack on Pascal Your right now. Your technology is limited, but I am Go great. here. <laughs> Deliberately took the hit. We had to. Okay, now I need to set some targets. The slits are level four, so I would love to set them, but we kind of want to kill like some easy ones. That Beastmaster is going to be well easy to kill. I'm going to mark that as one. This That's going to give us temporary me. wounds for killing it. Chimera are level three. Sybarites are level three. There's another Beastmaster behind us. Let's set that as prey. If it serves your cause. We're looking for temporary wounds if we can get them. And then we'll set like one of the slits. <sighs> if I must. Right. Uh, let's do Cull the Bold. Increase our damage. And then shoot it. I understand your intent. Didn't quite kill it. Would have been great if we had. Okay, Slith moves in. It's probably going to kill Urlet. Didn't. It shot Abelard. That's fine. Next. Cabalite Heavy comes in. Didn't do anything. The warrior comes in. Oh, we killed something with the AoE off of that. That's good. Nice dodge. Wait, it got another turn? It already had a turn. Oh, there, there might have been something that gave it another turn now that I think about it. Right, let's... Uh, I was hoping that you were double-sized so I could charge in and get you. Let's do this anyway. We knew we were taking the hit. That did zero damage. Indeed. Why did that do zero damage? Do you have something special? Phase shift. Negate all damage from every second successful attack. 
Yes, yes, you do have something special. Okay. Uh, I can hit it again. Let's do defensive stance. Victory is imminent. And I'm hit not it. Interested. Nice damage. Every second success, uh, successive attack. So this next one's going to do zero damage to it. You are mine. Now. Beast masters can give the beasts another turn. I understand. Fire left. You were um, almost okay. You, I don't know why they shot a toxic needle at it. I think it's meant to shoot a toxic needle at it to reset the damage on it, like so that the next one should um, trigger zero. But actually, what they did is they did the exact opposite, and they made it so that um, the next attack will do damage. I don't really know what this guy's plan is. We are almost dead. Okay. Heinrichs, <laughs> lovely for you to get a turn. Uh, hopefully they don't get an attack yeah, opportunity off of this one. Okay, shield of the emperor, for the hammer of the emperor. Glory. Okay, attack it. To it. We knew that was going to be nothing. We were aware beforehand. Uh, buff yourself and give it. yourself more strength and more uh, toughness. And then let's just put another Naturally. thing on it. That's fine. Okay. Um, assign this target. I can do that with the right incentive. Buff Heinrichs. Give Heinrichs another turn. Don't get too cocky. Kill. Be gone. Wonderful. Uh, heal but of Pascal, course, Lord Captain. Let's keep him topped up. We have another one. Uh, give Pascal For the more stats. Glory. Nice. Just trying to make him tank here. All right, we're able to give someone another turn. We're gonna give Heinrichs another turn. Heinrichs, let's start with buffing up the resolve. I won't object to it. Followed by Naturally. Shield of the Emperor. Followed by Hammer of the Emperor. Followed by this to give Pascal more actions. Glory. Followed by a buff to Abelard. But of course, Lord Captain. Okay. Followed by a heal on Pascal. And uh, how much have I got left? I got two. Uh, would I kill? I would. Okay. Wander in here. Kill. I need a foothold. I'm done with this one. Right, and then this way. I won't object to it. Holy terror! Huge Smite damage. Your enemies. Love to see it. Jai. Um. I'm trying to figure out how I can shoot here without messing things up. How about there? Tell me, and it is done. Fight okay, that's fine. I get another shot because that shot uh, hit, I believe. So then I'm going to shoot a... Well, I, I have a lot of stacks, actually. I could use my tactical advantage for even more damage. Don't let's do that. Cocky. And then let's uh, shoot. I can do that with the right incentive. I will nice. tear your heart out. The is a reward. Okay. Buff. My vow is to serve. Hit him. The Omnisire's vulnerability analysis successful. Uh, shoot him. Actually, uh, we can do it with this to start with. The scriptural prognosis is favor vital functions. Nice. Successfully terminated. Uh, shoot. Okay, uh, and reduce the slith's damage. Not that they've really done anything yet, but let's just reduce his damage anyway. Okay, our turn. Let's, uh, well, we've reduced the number of enemies significantly, which is nice. Would love to kill that one if we could. Okay, something like that. Uh, let's cancel, well, let's cancel what we're doing. 
Actually, I don't even need to kill the beast masters because I already killed both the beasts, so let's not worry about it. Let's go with uh, moving the front line to here. I'll make it happen. Let's then increase the armor I'll that Pascal's rocking. Let's increase. Oh, let's give us the cover uh, stuff. Let's then go for. Let's see what's next. Uh, some of that on the slip. Who if not me? Which has a lot of health, which is probably the main danger of it. On then it. we'll increase our allies' damage. Then I'll, I'll use surefire shot personally. or a surefire plan and take a shot. Nice. Just cleared trash. another one off the list, which is really all we needed to do. Could dismantling attack, which has many many effects. Uh, do these guys have armor? Yeah, they have quite a lot of armor. Let's maybe dismantling attack that my one. Perfect moment. Which will also stop it from moving. I think it has other effects that we have on ours, but anyway. It's pretty good. Oh, and then uh, I didn't even realize I can use perfect I'll spot, which I should have used before I shot, but anyway. Let okay. Them tremble. Nice dodge. Okay. Hey, we parried. Maybe they do a lot of damage in melee. Maybe that's why we should actually be scared of them. Because their range does not appear to be a scary thing. Oh, we didn't kill it? Okay. We are alive, though. Probably thanks to the increased armor. We have one back here as well, don't we? We do. Maybe it's your turn to go back and get that... Um, Follow my need! Yeah, the, this uh, officer over I'll here. Of this one. It will stop them giving someone else another turn. I will do my duty. Okay. It will be done. Followed by... I don't know, one of At those. Not that anyone's going to attack them, but that's fine. I thirst for your torment. Vengeance will be swift. Heinrichs, uh... Or resolve. Um, let's then shadow start to bleed. It said there. Okay, shield of the emperor. We're not e we're not at failed degradation. They sanctified, the so we glory. shouldn't be worried. Give but Jai course, extra. Um, yeah, extra agility. Now we are there. Now we have to be worried. I won't object to it. Let's then endure. And that seems like a good turn to me. Although we could walk up to the slith and hit it anyway kind of want to walk up on this side so we can hit it with the, um, the extra damage. Is on our side. That was a huge hit. Wow. Okay. Jai? Uh... Am I getting paid for this? Mark it. Followed by... giving him another Don't turn. Uh, this is free, right? Uh, it's not. It's, this doesn't count towards your attacks, I should say. Maybe it does. Okay. Um. Aim for an opening. Naturally. Hit it. Let's see to it. Very good damage. It's only got seven uh, health left. Hmm. Okay. Shoot it. Nice. Uh, finish the job we can't use on this one. We use it on anything else? Maybe on this one over here? Nope, can't see it. Alright, let's uh, buff Tell Malachi, because he's here. Let's then... Um, end our turn. Yeah. Pascal. Go here. And hit it. That apparently did not count for hitting the opening. I thought it would. Just kill that one over your shoulder. Dance one square. Hit it. Now we hit the opening. Then go straight through it. Not that that does anything, but okay. Probably could have ran away. Probably could have stayed in the armor zone. That was actually just bad, now that I think about it. Okay. 
Not that it matters too much, because I can move the front line over there. Follow up with one of those. On it. Increase our uh, dodge. Perfect spot. I'll make it happen. Joint analysis. Oh, so just doing all the things that we usually do. Secondary weapon is the sniper, so we have nothing that we can do against melee targets. Okay. My gut tells Wonderful. Me it's a bad idea. Put more it's stacks in the witch. And uh, I don't know, make that a kill zone over I'll there. See to it personally. Okay. Nice dodge. Ooh, out. I've suffered worse. Abelard, over here. Charge. Followed up with one of those. With one of those. And I don't know, with a sworn enemy. At your back and call. Then daring breach. And start doing what you Tried do. And tested tactics are the best ones. I'd rather not. One down. Kill it. One, two, two down. Target. Is this thing dead? It looks dead to me. Can That's keep... not the Seneschal's job. Oh, I can't charge there. That's okay. actually sound approach. I didn't realize that that one was dead, but I guess it must have died to poison last turn. Okay. It Taunted. Not that that matters at all. Right, uh, and then this. Right, then end your turn. I won't go down easy. Here, let's go over here. Mark it. Of course, it. Lord Captain. Uh, then what we're gonna do is we are going to uh, hit it. Nice. It does count towards your attacks as you've charged in. Wasn't a hundred percent sure, so I wanted to test it. All right. Here, uh, inspire. I can do that with the right incentive. Then do press the advantage. Uh, then shoot it. You've got a problem. I've got a problem. Nice. Okay. Your lordship, thanks to your breakthrough, we're able to clear out the estate. Right now, if the aid of your ship's augurs from orbit, the surface troops are sweeping the streets of the hive. Squads have been sent deeper into the city. Several units have been assigned. My apologies. Of course, you will learn of all of this from the reports. Your appearance on Dargonus is a boon from the God Emperor, who has brought us salvation. On behalf of all Dargonus and the House Versarian, I thank you for delivering us from our foes. Okay. Um. Well. Let, let's go for, um, I was doing my duty, nothing more. And by your will, you will have preserved countless lives, your lordship. Dargonus owes you a debt that can never be repaid. Jai winces bitterly. I never thought the words of praise could make my soul feel as if it were being suffocated. All this bowing and scraping seems wildly over the top. We will continue the cleanup of the estate and neighboring territories. We must deal with the rubble, the corpses, and any other after effects of the fighting. The surviving forces will be enough to repel any sporadic enemy attacks if any are launched. According to latest reports, the Xenos are pulling out en masse. If other matters require your attention, I won't detain you, detain you any longer. Please allow us to ensure that Dargonus is returned to its former glory. Return to the ship is what we got there. Interesting. Okay, that feels service. like yet another one of these. Hmm, Keep your wits that was a cool you. story. I wonder what Act 2 is going to be like, you know? Oh, sorry, Act 3 is going to be like. It's yet another one where it's like, the end of the story the is later. My ancestors speak I mean, that's fine, long forgotten. but um, is money to be made? it is a little gone. odd. Just to be like. What a shame that you lack the capacity oh, is she to still understand talking? even a single note. Every time you misclick on her, she's like, "It's time to give me uh, my treaties on humanity," and you're like, "Really? I just like wanted to get you to move from A to B." But anyway, um, Let us not do but yeah, there's a lot of things in this game where it's like, mm, "The story seems kind of interesting." Find out more in Act uh, Three or Four or Five. You know, it's like find out later. 
which very much makes it feel like we're at the start, but from all accounts, we are a fair bit through the game. Like, somebody said, I think, that we had at least 40 hours left was the claim. Uh, I believe that, actually I'm going to alt-tab just to get the exact number. Uh, I believe that Rogue Trader. Uh, yeah, I have 95 hours in here. So if we have 40 hours left, one, Act 3, 4, and 5, assuming it's a five-act structure, are much smaller. But two, it means that we're at least 66% of the way through the game. Anyway. Yes, uh... It's interesting. It, it, we're very far in the game to only have like one Rise enemy. To the top. Like, well, we have Conrad, uh, Kunrad, right? We know he's he's like the big bad, or potentially, right, right now. And then whoever his backer result. is, some unknown, potentially just generic force of evil. I always keep and now we have open. Marazai, who's our only other villain for right now. Um, So it's kind of like... We're very far in the game to have absolutely no idea of what the end game is. But, yeah. Anyway, I'm going to end the episode here. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time. Goodbye.